Hey guys, Dark Cycling FPV. I'm getting ready to send this quad back to a customer. Let me show you what I'm working on here. So this is the um, this is the Mobula 7. Had a hell of a time working on this one. Uh, there were some issues, some serious issues with this, but we got it resolved. Uh, so anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just setting up his sticks here. So if anybody's got uh, uh, something like this or you need some Mobula 7 help, um, this is a good time for you to uh, watch what we're doing here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, his USB though is whack. This thing has had a lot of stress on it. So let's see if I can get this to stay. There we go. I'm gonna go to model select. So this is his model that we're using, uh, which is model select. And I'm gonna press page. I'm gonna go to this model. I'm gonna name it, shut up. Mavu. La. There we go. Uh, seven, okay. Now. Um, we have this bound in 16 uh, uh, Free Sky X. Okay, so I'll show you here on the um, on the screen here. Let's connect. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. We have the, <coughs> our port set up. <coughs> Let's go to our receiver. Uh, everything is good to go. Okay, but what we need to do is we need to set up its switches. So what I'm going to do first, and I'm going to unplug this so that it doesn't overheat. The stupid. Uh, BTX is on. So, guys, again, if you're if you're setting up, if you're setting this up, and I've done a lot of videos on this, but I'm going to do it for this customer because I need him to understand what I've done here. So we're going to go to model, and then we're going to hit whoops model, and then page, page. Oh, let's go back one. Okay, and we're going to go to the inputs. What we want to do is we want to hit enter, and we want to name the first one arm. Okay, so A, uh, R, and then. Um, where the heck? Sorry, guys. It's it's an uh, interesting day for me. Uh, let's go down here and do a uh, a r. Man, I tell you what, I'm zipping. This little wheel is very good. Uh, okay, so anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter here, and I'm gonna flip this S A because that's what I want is my arm switch was S A. All right, now we're gonna go to number six and we're going to call that mode okay and we're gonna make the mode switch the SD switch. All right, and then we can, we're gonna do this fail safe. And I think they put a flip, uh, what is it, like turtle mode thing. So let me go ahead and just call this one uh, F A I, oh my goodness, L, turn. Thank you. Long day, I'm telling y'all. Okay. Return, go down here, and this is going to be our fail safe, and this will be his turtle mode one as well, okay? Now, once we're done putting these three switches in, we're going to go to the next page, and we're going to make sure we apply them to the mixers here. So it's already got everything tied in, so we're just going to spell it A... R M. Okay. Go here. Spell it. M O D E. Turn and then go here and spell F A I L. All right. We got those done. So now when I plug this in, I'm going to have those switches ready. So that's what I want to do because I'm going to set this up for him and I want him to be sure he understands. So here's what we're going to do. So let's let's head back now. We're going to go here to connect and we're going to go to our modes. So we see his R mode here. We see angle mode is here. Now I'm going to move angle mode to the beginning, third position, horizon mode to the middle position. And I'm going to move uh, fail safe. I don't know why I would really use it, but I'm going to make it all the way down for fail safe. Uh, we'll do beeper um, mid-range and fail-safe range and we're gonna go to our air mode, which will be 
um, here. And we're gonna put air mode at the front. Okay, so it's air with acro, horizon, and then uh, um, angle mode. And then we've got our flip over after crash, and we're gonna put that uh, in the middle right here. So let's shrink that down a little bit. There we go, we're gonna leave that right there. Okay, so beeper with flip over after crash. Um, not sure if he's gonna lie. I don't know. We, we can always change that, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure you need a fail safe. So I'll tell you what, let me get the fail safe out. That's what we'll do is we'll take fail safe out because I can't imagine you need fail safe on something this small. Okay, so let's just do flip over after crash. And what we'll do is we'll make that third position and that way the buzzer and everything's going off. Okay, perfect. So let's click save. Okay, so now that that's done, um, that's arm. Okay, arm. And we got acro with air, horizon, angle. Okay, and then we've got beeper, and then beeper flip over after crash. And that's it, everything else is done. So we're gonna click save now. And what we're gonna do here is we are going to disconnect. And we're gonna give this a little quick test flight, although I don't have the strap. I don't know what, he's, I've got to hold this battery in place. But I don't have it. So I'm just gonna to try to zip tie these together or do something at least temporary so I can at least try to get a flight out of this. But I have not been very successful lately. I have, I have been losing props left and right. So let me just see if I can get these batteries to fit. Let me do this, let me do it like this. So let's put this one under here. I just need to go under the zip tie, there we go. Then I'll put this one over and I'm just gonna zip tie these together for the time being so I can at least try to get something successful out of this once and for all, okay? All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna leave it just like that, and I'm gonna take the video here, my screen, I'll place that right here. There we go. Let's see if we can find our video channel. Hopefully. There we go, okay. So we're good. Um, I'll change some of the OSD, I guess, but uh, anyways, okay. So let's see, oh, my watch is on low power. All right. Okay, we're in angle mode and we're gonna try to take off here and see what happens. Hopefully these props stay on. They've been flying off lately, so let's try that. And I will zoom in to here, see if we can get something. I think it's getting hot though, but let's just see. Oh, there goes the prop. Ooh, it landed right on me, perfect. That's not good. So let's see if we can get these to stay on a little bit better. These props don't seem like they're holding very well. I'll be honest with you, I'm a little surprised. Um, we'll try it again, but. <laughs> okay, I don't have time to mess with that. Let me see if I can find a prop that might actually work, because this is stupid. So let's see if I can find a better, I think that's gonna be too big, isn't it? Yep, all right, give me a second. I'm gonna unplug this, see if I can find a better prop. Oh, of course. Telemetry lost. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find a better prop. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Try these, see if these will take these off the beta FPV one for now. Um, let me do that. These these props, I don't know why his props just don't want to stay on there. But I'll take these, I'll take these ones right here. I think these have been put on and off so much that maybe they're just worn out. I don't know. But let's see what we got. Okay, so these are gonna be smaller, but you know what? See, these are coming off kind of easy. So I don't know if they've just been used a lot or what but uh we're gonna just try these beta fpv ones real quick oh wait hold on these may not even be right no nope, that's too small oh my gosh okay let me take them off of this one then i don't know maybe it'll be better if i just take them off here i didn't even think about the beta fpv being um too big Let's 
too. Yeah. We're gonna try it. See, that's just that's just too easy. That's not even gonna stay on. This is too small. But how on here? I don't know, it's like something different about this motor and this motor, the shaft on this motor. I'm not really sure what's happened here. Hmm. Well, Tell you what, we're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, work here because that doesn't make any sense. So let me change the motor out since I happen to have one sitting here because that motor, that's not gonna work. Let's see if I could leave the motor in there though. While I do this, that would be nice. What a crummy thing, I mean. That wonderful quality control we've been talking about. God darn. It sounds like thunder is coming. Or maybe it's a car. Motorcycle. I don't know. I can never tell anymore. Now let's put this motor in here. Okay, maybe that'll help. What I want to do is take over a test flight without the damn props flying off. Let's put that aside and let's try it again. This time, let's see how this fits. Oh my god, much better. So, great. Hey, Mobula guys, come on, step it up just a little bit, would you? I mean, this is pathetic. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. So, we're going to make something happen now without these things flying off. I mean, this is pathetic. Look at this crap. I'm gonna tell you right now, man. I mean, like, if you can't keep props on the damn thing. I mean, seriously, guys. What kind of product are you making? This is pathetic. Jeez. So, I'm. You know what? This is even, this thing was sat in. Me. This thing was sent to me because it couldn't freaking bind properly, and it looks like we're fixing something else as well, which is the fact that Mobula didn't know what the hell they're doing. Hey, Happy Model. Fix your crap. This is pathetic. My God, man. How, how, where's your quality control? Please share it with me. Where is it? They on vacation? Everybody, everybody over there sick or something? This is so upsetting. I could have sent this back to the customer. And next thing you know, now he's having freaking, it binds, but the damn thing won't fly because it's, let me just make sure before I go do all this, that this thing sits on this one fine. Oh yeah. Night and day difference, guys. Let's do some quality control here, huh? It's pathetic. You know what? I had a bunch of Mobulas set to order. Uh, I think I'm, I don't know. I'll see. I, I got to really figure this out because I mean, God, it's just aggravating. That's all. It's, it's, it's like, it's like 
Ever since COVID, everybody forgot what quality control meant. People forgot how to be nice and quality control kind of took a break. So yeah, it's a little aggravating when we get crap that is problematic. I'll be fair and ask them. To, I'm gonna. I'll just contact them and see how they handle it first. I guess. Uh, can't answer that right now. Sorry, boy. Call you back in just a second. Okay. There. Let's get this motor in. So we can get my customer stuff working again. God darn. I don't even like the way this is fitting. Can we get any success now? I mean, please. All right, guys. Third time's a charm. We hope. For the love of God, can we just do something? Let's put the prop on. Awesome. So let's watch this screen. All right, and we'll go for a small spin, see if we can get this to work. Hey, we have flight. Awesome. Works like a champ. All right. So there we go. God, turn the screen black. Sorry. Uh, there we go, guys. So it is fixed. Unfortunately, came in for one thing. We took care of that by putting the firmware back properly. So I'm just trying to put the screen back. Um, I mean, I'm real disappointed that they can't, real disappointed that we had another problem with it. But at the end of the day, everything works now. Uh, I cannot complain. This guy's going to get back a great working quad. Uh, it only took, the, literally, there's so many videos made on this quad because I had to try different firmware, uh, <coughs> reload his radio from Edge to <coughs> OpenTX. I mean, it was a lot of work. But I, you know, it's worth it because I want it, I want answers. I want to know what the heck's going on. I'll put my little, uh, put my little uh, zip tie in there for you, but I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Um, but it does work, and everything's working now, so we finally got to the bottom of it. Just very frustrating. I feel like... I feel like everybody's just dropping the ball a little bit on their quality. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I've, I've talked to other people and they feel the same way, so I don't think it's something I'm imagining. I think that quality's starting to suck. It's been sucking for a little while. The, you know. Anyways, that's a whole different story. Uh, so for my customer, thank you very much for your patience. I'm glad that you let me uh, work on this so that you realize it's not the quad necessarily on this part. Now, it had it bound, your props would have flown off and you would have contacted me anyway, so I'm very sorry about that, but we got that fixed too. So... Um, I think that's about it for now. Guys, if you have any questions, you let me know. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and, uh, and and show your support, I guess. To my boys, Ashton, Land, and Jaden, I want to say what's up to you guys. Uh, it is spring break. I hope you all are having fun. I know we're getting you all on Wednesday. I cannot wait to have you all back here. I love you all very much. To my wife, you're kick-ass, man. I just love you to death. Thank you very much for your support. And to everybody else, thanks, guys. God bless. Be safe. And most of all, don't forget to spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. So go make the most of it, okay? You can always fly later. Talk to you soon, guys. Peace.